Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. Files gives very dark man 24 hours to retract defamatory statement against him. Yemi Alade shines in sold out Les Zenith Paris concert. Sean Diddy Combs kids address hot fall and false rumors about their family amid rapper's arrest. Mad Ma Yasong teams up with Fendi for new ergonic fashion collection. And Jojo Siwa models bedazzled jockstrap and chest plate for Lady Gun magazine. And on our trending segments, Nigerian rapper Files has issued a 24-hour ultimatum to social media personality Very Dark Man for claiming that he aided Bob Risky in dropping money laundering charges. The ultimatum comes in response to a scathing viral audio released by Very Dark Man this week where Bob Risky alleged that some unnamed EFCC officers collected 15 million naira from him to drop money laundry charges against him. Bob Risky also alleged that a senior advocate of Nigeria and his son assisted in getting the charges dropped and keeping him out of prison. However, Very Dark Man then alleged that Files and his father, Femi Falana, a renowned son, were the ones behind Bob Risky's ordeal. His allegations then caused a variety of reaction across social media and false promptly became a trending topic. In the legal documents posted to false Instagram, Very Dark Man's statement was highlighted in everything and everyone that is mentioned here. I will be disappointed if truly false and his father are involved in this whole Bob Risky issue. It's Girl, crazy. I am tired it's of crazy. Bob Risky. It's crazy. And you know the fact that, you know, Very Dark Man came out to say all of these things and then he's still coming out now to come and say, oh, I didn't say it like that. That's not how I said it. Yes. I mean, be careful before you come out to like, you know, put out allegations, um, you know, especially for someone who is very notable in yes. society yes. and is very yes. respected. Definitely. Someone like, you know, Mr. Femi yes. uh, Falana. Yes. So yes. you yes. have to be careful when you come out to say, yes. you know, all of these things. But this whole Bob Risky saga, though. Girl, I am so sick of it. You know, um, mm -hmm. um, Very Dark Man came out and was like, he did not talk mm -hmm. bad about... Falls and his father, mm -hmm. that he had a conversation with Falls, and that mm -hmm. he told Falls at the end of it, like, at least you're not have to, you don't have to get a lawyer. You're mm -hmm. a lawyer. You can defend yourself, but see you in court. So Barry Dockman, he's very adamant that he's not going to drop this issue. He really wants to get inside what really happened. If Bob Risky really did serve time mm -hmm. in prison or not. Mm -hmm. But one thing about Bob Risky, we need to know, there's always drama surrounding him. Yeah. Like I feel like this time around, Bob Risky, you're really going to go inside that prison. What do you, th <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I mean, for Bob Risky, Bob Risky has always been a troublemaker. He's yes. always in cell or in prison for one issue or the other. But I think this one now is no longer all those issues that, you know, you just come yes. out and then you wave off. Yes. This one is actually serious because now <laughs> there are so many officials that are involved. You're talking about, you know, lawyers, you're talking about the EFCC, you're talking about the yes. police. Yes. And we're talking about top people, you know, yes. in the industry. Yes. So you're not just messing around with small people this yes. time. Yes. Right? And so for very dark man, I think he's adamant and all of that. Yeah. I don't know where this is going to lead to yeah. but i do hope that you know all these things that are being accused of that you know he's not guilty of them yes. because if he is this is like big soup yes, it's yes, not going to yes. end well it's going to yes. end really really bitter yes, yes. and it might end up even putting him in that jail yes, which everybody's yes, just suspecting yes. oh was he there was he not i don't think he so was I don't girl. Know, you know it was too fresh when he came out right. and i don't want to question the justice system in nigeria mm -hmm. because if that's the case then what hope do we have we want change and this is what we're hearing like yeah like i'm just Speechless. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's such a crazy experience. I, I really don't know what the outcome is, but there is fire on the mountain right now. Like, there's fire on EFCC, <laughs> there's fire on the police, there's fire on everybody just on their toes right now. It's like, oh, whoever collected the 15 million, like they're saying, everybody bring your 15, bring, bring your own parts <laughs> back, like start returning it, you know, so there will be no you know, evidence or trace as to how the money was, you know, this bust yes. and all of that. So we're really looking forward to it. Yes. But, and maybe when we come back by next week, we'll by find next out week. The But what I'm happy about is that, yeah. that Files did come out and did say that mm -hmm. Bobrisky was in fact speaking to his father. So mm -hmm. Bobrisky to come out here and say that the audio out it's fake fake you're i mean yeah it looks yeah. so bad i mean the audio being out though girl next week next we'll talk week. about it yes, next definitely. Week. it's gonna be yeah. long <laughs> yeah and in our sports segment earlier this week african music royalty yemi alade set the stage on fire at the prestigious le zenith paris la villette concert the multi-award winning superstar left fans in awe with her signature blend of infectious energy powerful vocals, and vibrant stage presence. The concert was hosted by Shop Sidhu and Sophie Aida with Francis Igamo, the former UFC heavyweight champion. 
making a surprise appearance as a guest host. It was filled with thrilling surprises as Yemi Alade welcomed several high profile guest artists to share the stage. I love I Yemi. It's been, yeah, it's been a while since I heard, you know, Yemi come out to, you know, perform and all yeah. of that. So I think this is actually good. And she, I think she's more recognized uh, globally, internationally yes. and globally yes. more than, uh, you know, here in Nigeria, even though we call her Mama Africa, Mama Africa. and all of that. But people appreciate her music more, more out outside, there. yes. Mm -hmm. And I think she's actually killing it. She is, yeah. she is, she is. I mean, she's back now. What do you think? Do you think um, a new album is coming or a I new think, song is I think, coming? I think she released a single. I'm not sure the mm -hmm. name of it, but I think Yemi is, I think she's over Nigerians. Because I swear, because <laughs> yeah. we don't we don't send her. We don't even care exactly. for her music. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't, I care for her music. They don't care for her music. Mm -hmm. And that's all these other Francophone countries, countries you know. Actually really and her numbers are music. high in those yeah. countries. So. Yeah. Um, kudos to Yemi Holiday. Yeah, I mean, go mm -hmm. where you appreciate it and go where you yes, need more money. I definitely. think that's it for me. Yeah, more money, more money. Key, key, very <laughs> key. And onto our editorial segment, Sean Diddy Combs' kids addressed the hurtful rumors circulating about their family, including their late mom Kim Porter, in the aftermath of their dad's recent arrest. Quincy, Christian, and twins Jesse and Delilah shared a joint statement via their respective Instagram accounts on Tuesday night, marking the first time they've publicly spoken out since Combs was taken to jail on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering. We have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents, Kim Porter and Sean Combs' relationship, as well as about our mom's tragic passing that we feel the need to speak out, the four kids said in a statement. The kids claim that the rumors swirling that Porter wrote a book are untrue and that anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. They also said that anyone claiming to be a friend of the family who is speaking on their behalf is not a friend and does not have their best interest at heart. They ended their statement by asking the public to respect their mom and hold her legacy in high regard. I love that last statement, I really mm -hmm, do. Mm -hmm. And I think Kim Porter's kids, they've been quiet for a very long, long time. time. You know, people have been saying a lot of things even before Sean Diddy Combs was arrested. Yes. They were talking about, you know, her mom, you know, how the mom was abused, yes. how or maybe, you know, Sean had a hand in her death, all yes. of those things. And I feel like when someone is dead, just allow the dead rest, rest in peace, to be honest. Yes. And then because all of this, they're affecting the kids. No matter what it is you say, you know, kids could be bullied, they go yes. to school, their yes, kids are definitely. talking back at them, they go on the road, paparazzi is following them definitely. everywhere. Paparazzi always follows them, but like right now that their yeah. dad is in prison, paparazzi is on their neck. Yes. They have no breathing space. So yes. I'm really happy that finally they've come out to say, please stay away, you know, from, you know, our dad and our mom's relationship. Yes. Stay away from us. Yeah. Like, keep your opinions to yourself. If we have not come out to say anything, when we make a, a public or an official statement, Yes. then maybe from there you can take whatever it is you want yes. to take. Yeah. You know what? Social mm -hmm. media is so toxic because there's so many people that have said they've read this book. Mm -hmm. So if the book does not even exist, so what are you guys reading? I don't exactly. understand yeah. that. People are so it's toxic crazy. and they want to trend with mm -hmm. bad news. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't understand that. Yeah. You guys need to allow these family to, to, to have peace. Yeah. Because right now, I can, I can, a lot I can is imagine going what's going on. on. Ah, a lot is going on. You know, their mom is late, oh. you know. Their dad is involved with so many. It's just, it's just a, a lot, lot, to be honest. So just, uh, you know, Allow them to take their time yeah. and you know go through what they need let to go through. Let them heal. Yeah, let them heal. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, yeah. uh, Porter. And on our new collection, Mod Architects has unveiled their fashion collaboration with Fendi. The collection designed by founder Maya Song for the Italian luxury retailer was first seen during the brand's runway presentation for Men's Fashion Week in Milan. The collection features a play on the duality of materials and form as a reference for the new Peekaboo I See You bag and Fendi matte sneakers, which come in dove grey, safety yellow or black on black colorways. It also features disconstructed bags and slip-on shoes, which are available in an off-white silver colorway. This is the architect's first foray into the lucrative ready-to-wear market following a previous furniture collaboration with Dior and other experimentations with the design of home goods. And on a spicy or not, Jojo Siwa is letting it all hang out. The Dance Moms alum's racy rebrand continues with a risque new photo shoot for Lady Gun magazine featuring several gender bending looks. The cover image sees Siwa modeling a bedazzled chest plate and jock strap inspired by the male anatomy. The Karma singer finished the jaw dropping look with spiked, chain rimmed glasses and crystal crusted lacrys boots. Um, Joseph Siwa, is she. I think she's, she's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with her. Is she a lesbian? I, I don't, she's confused. I don't know. Like today she's coming out of this. She's, <laughs> she's, you know. And then to think that she was such a, you know, a child, child star. Yeah, yes. Growing up, you know, 
what it's happened? It's really a thing growing up, you know, for a lot of young people. And then to see her now, you have all these very, you know, crazy I'm images confused. of her online. And, oh, I don't know. I, I really don't know what's up with Jojo Siwa, to be honest. And I don't know. She's behaving like she has... And those know, dance steps. Have you seen her dance I steps? Said, I said everything about her has been crazy lately. Aggressive. I, I, really, I really don't know. And then this whole look, and then seeing kids, you know, look at look what up, she has yeah. done. Yeah, I, I really don't know what she's trying to portray. They'll be so confused. Yeah, very, uh, this whole look. Do you like the look? I, girl, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really, I, I don't know. I don't know where I, I, I need to put this look because it really looks confusing. Even though it's risque and all of that, but I don't know. I, I really don't know about this look. I, I have nothing to say no, honestly. I'm confused too. Yeah. Myself. Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.